Breaking news, breaking news, because there is truly no better kind. That's right. Uh, star, or maybe lack thereof. Okay. Vikings linebacker, former love Vikings linebacker, uh, Anthony Barr has signed with the Dallas Cowboys. Big time, to, big time news. I'm going to calm down. It's a hot car. Give me a break. This is a bigger signing than I think people will think. Because Anthony Barr, low-key, throughout his career with the Vikings, had 17 and a half sacks. That should at least be double! But Mike Zimmer never used him really as a pass rusher, or at least did not use him enough, in my opinion. So, what did the Cowboys get in Anthony Barr? First off, uh, it was confirmed by multiple reports, including, uh, you know, Mike Garofalo, Ian Rappaport, you know, obviously talking about his past uh, contracts in place with the Jets before coming back to the Vikings and all that stuff. But I think this one's going to stick. Um, and I do think... I think Anthony Barr is in a better position with the, the it was between two teams, according to uh, Gerald Fallow, according to Ian Rappaport. Uh, it was between the Denver Broncos or the Dallas Cowboys. I feel like the Dallas Cowboys give Anthony Barr a better chance to win a Super Bowl. I do. When we can compare these teams side by side, I just feel like the Cowboys are in a better spot. Now, it really depends on how well and how fast uh, Russell Wilson, uh, you know, hits the ground running. Like how it really depends on how well he starts to play off. But you know. I just really feel like this is the best possible situation for Anthony Barr. Uh, plus, the Cowboys get a a vaunted pass rusher. Like nobody really considers how well uh, Anthony Barr was and how good he was as a pass rusher. His length. Look at this man's tape at UCLA. He he got underused, underutilized uh, with the Minnesota Vikings. He should have had again at least 50 sacks in his career as a Viking. That did not happen because yes, he was he was athletic. He was big. He was fast. But you know, as, as a, you know, as a veteran, you know, what is he gonna bring? I think he's going to bring a guy that could, uh, you know, if used correctly, could bring anywhere from three to five sacks. I think, you know, if you need him to be as, as a spot starter, I think he's still got a lot left in the tank in that regard. Um, no details yet, by the way, have come out on the contract. We'll put that in the comment section down below in terms of what the contract is, but I'm assuming it's probably a one or two year deal, relatively cheap in that, you know, uh, it's definitely not a veteran minimum, but you know uh, it's going to be in that, in my I would have guessed two to eight million dollar range, uh, because I still feel like he's got a lot left in the tank. He can still offer a lot for the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm really excited to see what everything entails. But I think it's a big time signing by the Dallas Cowboys to help out their defense and continue to do some big time stuff. But let us know what you guys think about the Dallas Cowboys signing legendary. Okay, uh, they they signed a, a, a very good player in linebacker Anthony Barr.